The F123 hype is well and truly underway, with the first of many deep dive videos now released by EA and Codemasters. This first installment, hosted by Sky Sports F1's Natalie Pinkham and featuring Sky Sports F1 pundit and Mercedes sim driver Anthony Davidson, focuses on the new handling and physics model coming to the series this year, as well as also covering red flags, the new and returning tracks, and even the 35% race distance. There was quite a lot covered. So without wasting any more time, I'm Mark from Racing Games, and here's the roundup of the first F123 deep dive. First up, the new handling and physics model. This year sees some pretty big changes to both the handling and behaviour of the cars. Players have often maligned the drivability of F1 games. Previous titles have usually required a specific style of driving that wasn't transferable to other titles. This now seems to have been corrected. The aspect that will particularly please racers is the discussion of low speed traction. Too many times players have spun round on the exit of slow corners or been forced to short shift so much they get swarmed by the cars behind just to stay pointing the right way. This has often forced players to leave the medium traction control assist on, taking away from the challenge for more experienced players. Acceleration, braking and rotation are all enhanced for F123, with tyre slip being updated along with its relationship to the inertia of these massive F1 cars. Feedback has been sourced from both teams and Anthony Davidson to ensure a more realistic approach has been taken. The balance between aero grip and mechanical grip has also been fine-tuned in an effort to bring it closer to real life, while more progressive torque has been added, which should hopefully make lower gears more usable and less liable to spin you into the barrier. Believe me, I'm punching the air on that last point. All of this should go into making the game both more realistic and easier, as the cars act more predictably and more in line with how serious sims like iRacing and Assetto Corsa treat their handling. The floor of the car has also been tweaked, leading to more realistic behaviour when travelling over curbs and heading off track. Expect to feel the bumps more in your racing rigs if you go off the tarmac or over those pesky sausage curbs during races. It's not just the handling and physics that are changing this year though. Your race strategy could end up in the air with the reintroduction of red flags. F123 will monitor track conditions to determine if a virtual safety car, full safety car or red flag is needed for each event on track. Red flags aren't just limited to crashes though, as they can also be triggered by cars retiring in unsafe positions on track or even extreme rain. This is an incredible update to the F1 series, adding that desperately needed element of realism that we're seeing more and more frequently in real life races. Considering the strategic advantages that red flags can lead to as well, we're pleased to see that you will be able to change tyres and even repair damage on your car during these race stops. Just like the safety car, players can adjust the sensitivity of red flags within their save. This was hinted at rather than confirmed, but it also appears as though players will have the option to drive back to the pits themselves during a red flag or switch on broadcast mode like with safety cars and pit stops to drive the car back automatically. Oh, and red flags are available in online races too, so prepare for absolute carnage on turn one of any multiplayer race. One of the best things to come out of this deep dive trailer is our first look at both the LaSalle International Circuit in Qatar and the new Las Vegas track making their debuts in the F1 series this year. We got to see race footage from both circuits, and they are looking good. Codemasters has had to build a huge amount of city architecture into the Las Vegas street circuit, thanks to its position on one of the most recognisable pieces of public tarmac in the world. The Las Vegas Strip is littered with landmarks, all faithfully reproduced thanks to photogrammetry data available. Qatar has also been scanned, hopefully leading to a more faithful reproduction than perhaps some of the other tracks in the game. We also now have confirmation that Portimao, Shanghai and Paul Ricard will be returning this year, although we're still not sure if these will be available in all game modes yet. 35% race distances were also briefly covered during the deep dive, but that's pretty self-explanatory, so no need to cover that this time out. These changes coming to F123 are definitely a step in the right direction, and with the deep dive set to continue right up to the game's release on the 16th of June, there will be plenty more features and information to talk about between now and then, so why not hit that subscribe button now to stay up to date with all things F123. Now you've seen the handling improvements in more detail, how do you feel about the changes coming to F123? Let us know down below and be sure to hit that like button while you're there. For now though, thanks for watching. I've been Mark from Racing Games and we'll catch you here on the channel for another video soon.